I should have a review on it and say, oh, it's so good or what's up everybody welcome back to my channel welcome if you new hope that you are doing well in today's video we are going to be i'm going to be filming the skincare routine i've done the first step which is washing my skin but yeah i'm going to be showing you guys the rest and yeah if you're excited to see this video please make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload make sure to hit that like button too and share the video with your friends and without any further ado, we are going to get right into this video. <laughs> first things first, I want to get through the skincare routine so my skin does not dry out even more than it is right now. Then we'll talk about my skincare after and my, my journey with my skin. Um, so first of all, I use this. I use the Neutrogena Hydro Piece. If you can see it, let's see. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yes, there you go. I use this and I use this. This is the exfoliating face wash. And it's called the smoothing gel. Hydro Boost Exfoliator Smoothing Gel. I use this some days. But this, the water gel, is more of my day-to-day -day thing that I use a lot. And then next in my step, this is something that is fairly new that I haven't used in a while. This is the Neutrogena blackhead eliminating cleansing toner which i've always used the toner before but none of the toners that i've used have really worked out for me i used to use the skincare collections one from from clicks and it was okay for a while but i don't know i didn't know i didn't know if it was doing it. i didn't think it was doing anything and then um after that one i used the African extracts, the Bagos one, and it also didn't work out for me. I'll see if I can have the pictures up to show you guys what I'm talking about. But um, it didn't work out, it wasn't doing anything for me. As a matter of fact, it would burn my skin, the African extract one. It would burn my skin, I thought mm, this was not for me, so I wouldn't use it a lot. And then very recently, I found this one. And I would always seen it but never really thought of using it and I thought okay um my skin is no longer dry so now I wanna start targeting um my black spots and yeah and pimples but you know pimples are not a big deal anymore because I'd get pimples that time of the month and even then was like a few days and they'd be gone. So I really really do not really that much. Next, I use the Ghost Care Hydrating Face Mist by Nivea. I wish Neutrogena had one. I definitely would go buy it. <laughs> but I use this one and it works. The first time I ever heard anybody talk about rose water and how good it is for your skin, for hydrating your skin, there was this YouTuber that I watched. I was obsessed with this girl. And she she used the Mario Badowski one, and I was like, mm -mm, I gotta find something different because I'm not buying Mario Badowski because that that is expensive. It's expensive, <laughs> way too expensive. Mm -mm, wouldn't. So I like to spend that a couple of times, and yeah, that's the third step. And I'll just wait for it to dry and. I'll catch up with you guys once it's dried. I've been gone for two minutes and it seems to have mostly soaked in. Next, I go in with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost um, water gel. I toggle between the water gel and the cream and the cream one because I don't know. I don't think there's a there's much of a difference between the two. This one is for dry skin and the other one is for extra dry skin. I think something like that. I can't remember but the gel one is for skin that is much drier than this one is, i guess but i don't i don't actually know i don't actually know i've used both of them and i normally just buy whichever one is available at my local store but i don't know i think i prefer the water gel one just because it leaves the skin feeling a little bit softer than the cream one but in all honesty i feel like it's the same substance i don't know I don't know, I feel like it's the same substance. But anyway, 
this is the one that i've been using currently i don't know i don't know i think in my stash of skincare what i do see this is why i love clicks so much i go to clicks and whenever it's three for two on, on 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 anything that i use i'll buy stuff then and they will last me with skincare i think they last me around six months or so but it also depends on what it is my my moisturizer of, of course finishes first and then um, my face washes they don't always finish because they take a long time i think my face wash lasts me around two-ish months probably like eight weeks or more and um this will last me probably five to six weeks but yeah this is the last step in my skincare routine because it's at night uh, for daytime, the last thing I use is this. It's the Hydro Boost City Shield Hydrating Lotion in SPF 25. This is the sunscreen. During the day, I'll use this regardless of whether it is winter or not. And then I will reapply it if it is necessary. But it's at night. I don't need sunscreen right now. That's for tomorrow. But that's my skincare routine. And it literally does not change. I used to leave out the toner because of course the toner that i was using was not good for me and i just recently started using this one i think i've been using it for probably a week so i can't really give much of a review on it and say oh it's so good or uh, it's not good or i don't like it or whatever for now i'm keeping it in my skincare routine it has not done anything bad my skin does not burn I don't know i don't I, I i'll have to go back to my old pictures and old videos and compare my skin then to now in order for me to see a difference because for now i don't see anything so we're gonna keep it to see if it works out if at the end if by the time i finish this bottle nothing has changed then of course i don't need to purchase it and i just chuck the bottle away and find something new if i have to but um, the last thing that I like to do every single day is use a lip balm. My favorite lip balm is not here. They did it for Okay, well, for now I'll be using the soft lips one that I don't actually like much. You can't even see what's happening here. Hmm? It's a soft lip one. I don't like it. Oh! I actually did find my favorite one. I found it and this is the one that's finishing I just finished it very recently I've been using this one for like four weeks that's my favorite one and I have a new one to open but I also want to finish this one up this is the labella one it's called the three in one instant repair I love this I enjoy I enjoy this more than I enjoy this but of course if this is not available because I have to purchase it from take a lot i have to purchase it off of take a lot because my local clicks does not have it pick and pay does not carry it so i have to purchase it off of take a lot so whenever there's something else that i'm ordering off of take a lot i'm like it's a good chance for me to get those things so then i'll get them but then if i'm not purchasing anything off of take a lot then i'm not buying them because there's no way in hell i'm paying 60 rand delivery for a 50 rand to <laughs> of lip is it lip balm? What not? Whatever it is. This is not lip balm. What is this? Whatever this is. Oh, it is lip It is lip balm. I thought a balm was the other thing. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This to me is the equivalent of um, that lip repair by Diskim. It's just lip repair is much better. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. But I use the uh, Labella one. And yeah. Well, that's my skincare routine. Every single day, it looks the same. Literally, barely ever changes unless I'm doing face masks and all that but i don't always do face masks so this is my everyday skincare routine and this is the night nighttime routine that just does not include the sunscreen because during the day i do the same thing and i just add sunscreen right on top of everything but yeah hi it's editor mindy here thank you so much for tuning into today's video stay tuned until next time 
to hear the talk about my skincare and my journey with my skin and everything um, I decided to cut the video here because I thought it would be too long to include everything all at once uh, thank you so much for tuning in I love you guys so much always give me a sign and have a good day